Star Wars vehicles, and most definitely the starships and starfighters, are some of the coolest aspects of the Star Wars universe. That's while of course being futuristic and riddled with all kinds of awesome equipment and weaponry, still maintain a grounded feel in their looks and builds, being models on actual vehicles like jet fighters, bombers, and battleships, especially those used in the Second World War. Although not all ships are, and all were designed this way, the Millennium Falcon, most notably, was allegedly in some ways based on a half-eaten hamburger, with an olive on the side representing the cockpit, and others were weirder still, one of which being the topic of this particular video in celebration of the annual May the 4th. This case comes in the form of the Umbaran Starfighter, one of the most alien designs in an already alien and unfamiliar universe, and has a very uncanny appearance that's made a lot of people wonder just how was such a ship thought up. This video is predominantly inspired by the blog post made over on SV Powell, standing for Sauropod Vertebra Picture of the Week, which I would highly recommend checking out, considering the wealth of information on sauropods and other such animals, and is an undeniably helpful resource either for learning and or making videos like this one to educate more people on how amazing these animals were, and how their anatomy continues to inspire. Created by Mike Taylor, Matt Wessel, and Darren Nash, the latter now mostly retired from contributing on the blog, are all paleontologists themselves, and it was noted by them that one ship, in particular the Umbaran Starfighter, as mentioned, looks remarkably similar morphologically to a sauropod's intermediate cervical, with them looking most similar to the one's features in a Passosaurus. The ship closely resembled the vertebrae regarding the very deep cervical rod loops, and in the small and high condyle, which often provides structural support, looking remarkably similar to the transparent cockpit, as well as being in roughly the same place. Bulges relating to where the parapophysis fuses with the cervical ribs also appear to correspond to the weapons pods. Andrea Carr, another notable paleontologist, also took note of the similarities in light of the discussion, and actually went about conducting a quantitative test to assess the actual plausibility of an anatomical relationship between a Passosaurus and the aircraft. If indeed an Apatosaurus vertebrae was indeed the inspiration behind the aircraft, then the latter must also have a series of characters shared with Apatosaurus such that, assuming a phantom vertebrae of the same shape as the aircraft, and inserted into a phylogenetic analysis of sauropods, then this hypothetical vertebrae should be a sister taxon of Apatosaurus, if this notion was to be accepted. Giving the ship the name of Umbarospondylus apatosauroides, he found that this hypothetical Umbarospondylus did indeed share all of Apatosaurus cervical autopomorphies features, and turned out indeed to be a sister taxon of Apatosaurus. As such, Carr did indeed believe the similarity could not be a mere coincidence, and this was something later proved by further inquiry to those who had designed the craft. Mike Taylor first reached out to concept artist Russell Chong, who had done the final design of the Starfighter, with it then being found that Chong himself was not aware of the connection, even though he did do the previously established final design. But then again, he wasn't the original designer, who turned out to be David Hobbins, who Chong put them onto, who had indeed come up with the original idea for the ship. He did manage to get back to them, and it was found that their suspicions were indeed valid, and that he was indeed inspired by them, noting that nature renders, quote, complex and beautiful designs, end quote, and that he often finds himself drawn to studying living form and patterns when it comes to vehicle design. With this now being known, and as noted by Mark Robinson in the comments, copying other sauropod vertebrae is sure to lead to some more creative designs. Squadrons of fighters based on Diplodocus and Camarasaurus, heavy craft based on Mementisaurus and Haplocanthosaurus, and a flagship based on the still yet to be named Archbishop Brachiosaurus specimen. A lot of potential there. As a fan of all things paleontology, and largely of Star Wars, I thank you all for watching, and exploring and delving into the even more newsier aspects of this field, and how media often intersects with nature. All in all, I thank you for watching this video on these animals, and that you may have learned something new. If you would like to see more from this channel, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and with that, I'll see you next time, whenever that's may be.